Our story of the little donkey under the 23rd star window is Don Pedro's Christmas. Mother Marta had said that Don Pedro simply could not go to the Christmas Eve service with Lola. But Don Pedro is so good, begged Lola. He works all the time. I would just tie him up outside the door. I know he would be quiet. Well, said Lola's mother finally, take him along if you must. Lola's face was radiant as she ran out from the adobe dwelling in the New Mexican Valley where they lived and hurried to find her pet. My good little burro, she exclaimed, throwing her arms around the shaggy neck. I just couldn't go to church without you. Lola was lucky. She could express her love to Don Pedro in words, while he could only twitch his ears to show his affection for Lola. On this particular day before Christmas, it was unusually hot. If the heat spell goes on, Lola's father said, too much snow will melt in the hills and the river could overflow. By nighttime, it was still terribly hot. The family prepared to go to the church and Lola went to get Don Pedro, but the little donkey was not in his shed. I must find Don Pedro, Lola called to her mother. I'll meet you at the church. She took a lantern and started off. It wasn't far from the adobe house to the church, just down the road over a bridge and up to the small steepled chapel. As Lola searched for Don Pedro, she saw the people of the valley walking and driving their cars to the midnight service. After looking everywhere without success, Lola headed for the church. As she crossed the old bridge, it swayed more than usual. The water in the river was very high. How black it was, how swift. Suddenly, Lola's heart began to pound. Something was moving near the river's edge. Who's there? As if in answer came the loud, raucous braying of a donkey. Don Pedro, she gasped. And sliding down the bank to the water's edge, she found her little burro. There he was, stuck in the mud and water under the bridge. Quickly, Lola set down her lantern, and wading out into the rising river, she stretched out her arms and seized her pet's tail in both hands. Kick, Don Pedro, she commanded. Kick as hard as you can. Don Pedro obeyed as Lola tugged with all her might, and at last the little burro kicked himself free of the mud and went charging up the riverbank. As Lola picked up the lantern to follow, its light disclosed something that made her gasp. Don Pedro, she cried, flinging herself upon the little donkey's back. Go quickly! Go as fast as you can! Inside the old church, good Padre Carlos had just finished telling of the joys of Christmas, when suddenly the door of the church swung wide open and up the aisle came, of all things, a little burro, soggy, wet, and covered with mud. What sacrilege is this? cried the Padre. Such a disturbance in the church. Then he saw the small girl, almost as wet and muddy as the donkey. Oh, Padre, Lola cried. I'm so glad we got here in time. The bridge is all washed out at the bottom. If anyone goes over it in a car, it will fall. People will be killed. The congregation rose to its feet in alarm as Lola blurted out her story. When she finished, Padre Carlos touched the little donkey with tender hands. God works in mysterious ways, he said. Let us give thanks that perhaps many lives have been saved through Lola and this little burro. Lola glanced at Don Pedro beside her. As she lovingly scratched the fuzzy head, she remembered another little donkey who had stood by the baby Jesus in a stable nearly 2,000 years ago. Yes, she thought. Don Pedro has a right to be here in church on this Christmas Eve. <laughs>